Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here, and today is a great day for Blizzard. Some good news for Blizzard for a change, what is this all about? Hey, Blizzard Entertainment, our legendary words are for all to share and that includes our passionate Chinese community. We are pleased to announce a new agreement with NetEase to bring Blizzard games back to mainland China. Thank you for your patience and support. So, after a while being out of China, Blizzard is going back in. And they're going back in with NetEase, which is the same partner that they broke up with a year and a half ago. So, yeah, that breakup was not very nice. If you remember that one, now, NetEase, NetEase had the statue of Gore, how they live streamed how they tore down the statue when they broke down the negotiations with Blizzard. And then they then they live streamed also lots of insults against Blizzard, specifically mostly towards Bobby Kodik. It has been noted a lot directed at Blizzard in general, but even more directed at Bobby Kodik personally. So obviously Kodik being out now and Blizzard being owned by Microsoft has opened up some avenues and made this cooperation possible again. But man, that was that was a really really quite a bit of rage that Nettie's had when the when the negotiations broke down last time and the cooperation ended. But yeah, Blizzard coming back to China. So when and what? In Blizzard's press release, beloved video game titles from Blizzard Entertainment will return to the market sequentially beginning this summer under a renewed publishing deal. Blizzard Entertainment, Microsoft Gaming and NetEase announced today. The renewed publishing agreement will encompass games Chinese players had access to under the previous agreement. So no new games? Is that how you read it? Because all of these things are listed under games Chinese players had access to under the previous agreement. World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, other titles in Warcraft or Watch Diablo and Starcraft universes. Alright. NetEase also released their own press release about this thing and they said that they are going to have more control over the games in China in the future. And for example, they are going to implement new anti-cheat measures for these games. But what other more control are they going to have? That remains a little bit unclear, but okay, NetEase will control the Blizzard games in China more closely. They are going to relaunch Blizzard Games eSports in China. They are going to rebuild the Gore Howl statue. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Well, things just happen. Anyway, more control. I don't know what to make of that. I mean, anti-cheat, that's probably pretty good, but what else? We'll have to wait and see. And what does this mean for the games that this channel covers the most? First of all, Hearthstone, which is guaranteed to return, and this is big, big news for Hearthstone. First of all, this may help with the bot issues. Hudson has had a lot of bot issues on other servers after the Chinese servers went down and with Chinese players returning back to their home servers. And Nettie's also announced that their accounts will be intact and there will be comeback bonuses and stuff like that. So it might be that the players can actually return to their home server and have their account in a pretty decent shape, so also no need to create new bots just so that they could get new accounts up from scratch. NetEase eSports program, they didn't specify which games, when, but NetEase eSports for Hearthstone were pretty much ahead of what was happening in the West, so that may rejuvenate Hearthstone eSports scene. Also, China was a major market for Hearthstone. Up to one quarter of Hearthstone's revenue came from China, so this is obviously a big deal for all the Blizzard people who are working on Hearthstone in California. Because, hey, suddenly your game is going to make more money and that's going to be more secure jobs and lots of good times ahead. So this is a major, major win for Hearthstone. And then there's Warcraft Rumble. But it's not certain whether Rumble is covered by this agreement. Because it said that the agreement covers games that were available in China previously and they are now going to return and Rumble was not available in China, of course, because it was not released while, while Blizzard had a contract in China. Which is a bit of a shame because Rumble could have a lot of potential in the Chinese market. This kind of mobile game could be just, just the right kind of game for that market. So I hope Blizzard is going to be able to get Rumble to the Chinese market. Because getting Rumble to the Chinese market would mean increased revenue, and that would mean increased interest from Blizzard in developing Rumble. 
unless they just conclude that China is going to be the main market and then they're just going to outsource the development to Nedi as well. Uh, let's hope that it doesn't get that far. I mean, Nedi did develop Diablo Immortal, of course. So they, they are seasoned mobile developer who have also worked with Blizzard IPs. But best case scenario would be that Rumble gets access to the Chinese market. Rumble is going to succeed there and the developers in California will be able to continue with Rumble and will be able to increase their efforts and make Rumble even better. So yeah, that was great news for Blizzard, return to the Chinese market. So some positive news for Blizzard for a change. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.